Did you know that migration can be good for innovation and that migrants are often more innovative than local workers? In this explainer video, we'll be looking at how migration and innovation are interlinked. We will do this by specifically focusing on the effects of migration on innovation in migrant countries of origin and countries of destination. But before we go further, we need to first be clear about what we mean by migration and what we mean by innovation. So migration is the movement of a person from one place to another for the purpose of residing in that new place. Innovation can be described in its simplest form as a new idea, device, or method. Innovation is often viewed as the application of better solutions that meet new requirements, unarticulated needs, or existing market needs. When we talk about innovation, we can break this down into five dimensions that are commonly referred to. That is, product innovation, process innovation, organizational innovation, input innovation, and market innovation. And why do we even care about innovation? That's because innovation can be a catalyst for growth and development in various ways across countries. Now, the impact of migration on innovation has become a hot topic worldwide due to the steady increase in the share of highly educated individuals among total migration flows. Special attention has been devoted to the circulation of scientists, researchers, and highly skilled workers across the globe. Today, we see that many countries are in a global race for talent. More generally, historically, migration has been a key channel through which knowledge, skills, and ideas have circulated worldwide. From the perspective of destination countries, migration has been associated with positive economic outcomes, as highly skilled migrants tend to contribute disproportionately to innovation. Innovation-led economies need people with good ideas and people to implement those good ideas. First, let's look at how migration can affect innovative businesses. Immigration can help innovative businesses by helping domestic innovative firms in overcoming labor shortages. In particular, the immigration of skilled workers enables innovative firms to obtain access to management resources and technological competencies that may be lacking in the domestic market. Immigration also contributes to the diffusion of knowledge. The resulting combination of diverse sources of knowledge can provide the so-called sparks that lead to innovation and advances in science and technology. Immigrants can stimulate innovation in a number of ways. People movement is one of the main ways in which tacit knowledge moves between regions. Immigrants bring experiences and knowledge from outside cultures and economies, which can act as a circuit breaker for groupthink which would otherwise limit the way societies approach problems. Evidence shows that migrants have higher rates of patenting and commercializing patents and publishing than locals in the United States, for example. While much of the discussion of immigrants' positive impacts on innovation is about highly skilled migrants, research shows that low-skilled migrants help to increase innovation also. This is because low-skilled migrants help local labor to be able to use their time more productively. For example, individual inventors in destination areas that have access to a large supply of low-skilled labor are able to hire them to do housework, childcare, and other tasks, which means they have more time to work on new inventions. For all of these reasons, migration often leads to more innovation in countries of destination. Migration can also have a positive effect on innovation in countries of origin. Key areas for us to explore here are remittances and return migration. Financial remittances can be used as a source of extra income to invest in new technologies and improve productivity. Social remittances or the transfer of knowledge, values, and norms can contribute to changing institutions in origin countries. At the same time, migrant returnees play an important role in facilitating knowledge transfer and promoting international partnerships and cooperation. 
migration, especially of the highly skilled, can favor technological diffusion in developing countries through social ties and transnational networks. For this reason, many countries have specific policies on diaspora engagement so that they can maintain ties and collaborations with their diaspora abroad. Research shows a positive impact of diaspora on international co-patenting, for example. However, the story of migration and innovation for countries of origin is not only positive. It is possible that having a large proportion of highly skilled people migrating from a specific country or region could also hinder the country's ability to innovate. However, the evidence on this is mixed. Over the past decade, specific policies designed to attract the best and brightest have been formulated. In most OECD countries, there are specific policies to select foreign entrepreneurs, the highly educated and the highly skilled to immigrate in what is known today as a global race for talent. Public policy can influence migration within the context of innovative businesses by adopting measures to not only attract, but also retain foreign entrepreneurs, skilled workers, and students. While there is much more that can be discussed here, I hope this video gave you some more insight into how migration and innovation are interlinked, both in countries of destination and in countries of origin. Please be sure to leave your questions and comments and like this video if you found it helpful. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that we upload every week on different migration issues. And I definitely hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.